what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, my name's Leslie. I am the Farm and Pastor's Wife. And you're in my kitchen down on my farm with my dishwasher running, my windows open, uh, my screen is dirty and dusty with spider webs, and it's just what it is today. So um, we're going to do something super fun, something I've never made before. I had plans for something else, but I decided to make something new. We're going to do this, and then we may go on a little outing with Judah and Levi and run a few errands with Bryant. So this is going to be kind of a multifaceted video, but we're going to start with the recipe. So don't go anywhere. Today we're making blackberry dumplings. So let's talk about blackberries for a moment. Now these are store-bought, but it's not going to be long. It's going to be like in May when the wild blackberries start producing around here and around our farm. And to me, there is nothing like a wild blackberry. I think it has a much better flavor. Yes, they're much smaller, but they have a much better flavor. And I prefer wild any day of the week. But I like them no matter how they come. So we've got some blackberries that I've washed here. It's about a quart of blackberries. And I'm just going to put them right here in my little saucepan. Set that back in the sink. I'm going to go in with a cup, a good cup, I don't mind if I go over, if it's a heaping cup, of sugar. Okay, and to that I'm going in with a cup of water. And we're going to give it a, just a splash of lemon juice. If I had a real lemon, we would use real lemon. If not, we're going to use this. I don't have one, so we're going to use store-bought. And I'm just going to give like a half a teaspoon. The lemon juice, you don't... Ah! You don't taste it. You ju It just... There's something in the lemon juice when you put it with a fruit. It just brightens everything and just like excites the flavors, sort of. So, okay, we're going to get this on the stove real briefly. You may see a towel behind me at the dishwasher. That's because occasionally my dishwasher, I don't think I'm going to put it on a different burner. This burner is a little bit smaller. There we go. All right. Um, so, yeah, there's a towel behind me on the floor. Uh, my dishwasher occasionally wants to leak. I don't think it's going to this time, but... Um, Occasionally it does. All right, so we've got those going. I'm going to get everything I need, and we are going to um, fix the dumpling portion of this while that's simmering and cooking away and reducing, and I'll bring you back in just a little bit. So let's go over here and take a look at what's happening on the stove. This had come to a boil. And I've turned it down to simmer, and we're going to let it just simmer for about five minutes. Um, I did taste a little bit, and I added just a little bit more sugar. And that's what you need to do. Start with your cup of sugar, and then taste. And if it's still a little too tart to you, add. Because berries are different. They have different sweetness levels. So you may get a batch of really sweet berries and not need to add any more sugar. Um, I did, however, have to add a little bit more sugar. So it's just going to simmer away for about five minutes. Let's go back over to the island and put together the dumplings. All right. 
So in my batter bowl here, I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. And I've just taken my whisk um, and ran through it. I've got here, uh, I would say a tablespoon and a half of sugar. And we're going to go in with two teaspoons of bacon powder. And what I want to do before I add any liquid is I want to give it a whisk. And I'm going in with a pinch of salt, a couple of pinches of salt. All right, and I'm just gonna take my whisk. Whisk it around. Now, let me just tell you, it calls for milk. I went in my refrigerator and somebody has drunk all my milk. <laughs> so that's okay. Um, I had heavy cream, so I just added water. I put just a little bit of heavy cream and added water. I hope this works out. There's a chance it won't, but I hope it does. So we're gonna pour that in there. Gonna get a big spoon here. Just gonna pour that in there. And I'm gonna also add a little bit of vanilla. Now, if you want some spices in this, this would be where you want to add them if you want a nutmeg or cinnamon. I, however, with my blackberries, I don't. This is a purest, <laughs> all but the vanilla, it is pretty much a purest blackberry dish. And you're just gonna have a nice little dough, nice fluffy dough. Okay, now I'm going to let this sit here for just a little bit while I, um, while my berries continue to simmer, and I'll meet you back over at the stove. Okay, everybody, it's been simmering away, so we're going to get you guys turned down here, and I've got my dumpling mixture right here, and I'm just going to take small spoonfuls and we're just gonna drop them in. And every now and then I'll take my wooden spatula thing and give them a dunk. Right, and I'm not turning the burner down. I'm leaving it on a simmer because what we're going to do is we are going to put our um, we're going to put our lid on and let it continue to simmer. Now I'm going to take my Get them down in there. Get in there. These might fall apart due to the heavy cream. I'm not sure. We will see. Like I said, I'm not sure what effect. I know like if you make chicken and dumplings and you use buttermilk, these will fall apart. So I'm not sure the effect heavy cream will have on them. But um, we're just gonna wait and see. I think I'm gonna let this one be my last one because I do feel like they're falling apart a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid on. It's going to be good no matter what. I'm going to put the lid on. 
Make sure it's down on simmer and we're gonna set the timer for about 15 minutes. Okay, everyone, I can hardly wait. Ah, look at that, look at that. All right, I'm gonna dish me out and the dumplings stayed together beautifully. I'm gonna get me a dumpling. I think I'm gonna cut another one in half. Yes. Oh, and they are like so cake-like. Look, I just cut that one in half. Oh my goodness, they're like cake in your blackberries. Oh wow. This, my friends, looks delicious. All right, let me move over to the island. I'm gonna take a picture and I'll bring you back in just a second. So the idea to eat this is with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, but I'm just going in as is. I can't wait to try this. I love a blackberry pie. That is one of my favorite fruit desserts. Y'all, that is so good. That is the fluffiest dumpling, the sweetest juice, Oh my goodness, that's good. Like, and do you see how easy that was all in one pot? Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna stop now. When Brian comes home, we'll fix him one and get his thoughts on it. I think it's delicious. Probably now my new favorite dessert blackberry dumplings all right guys i'm gonna go finish this and i'll see you back um in just a little while hopefully bryant will come in and we'll have time to get him to do a taste test if not we're gonna do something fun with judah and levi okay everybody bryant tasted the blackberry dumplings and he absolutely loved them he said they were so good so let me tell you if you want something a little different something different than cobbler or pie or whatever these are absolutely delicious and so easy to make i mean foolproof so easy and uh, they're just delicious so give them a try and you could probably do it with any kind of berry or fruit you wanted so um yeah give them a try they were absolutely delicious so all right we are gonna head i'm gonna share with you my fun time with levi and judah and then i'll come back and say goodbye all right so Judah and Levi are on spring break. Well, let me just say Judah is on spring break because he's the only one in actual school school right now. So, um, but their mom and dad both work. And so um, they have the daycare that Levi's in has like before, after, and you know, daycare for school age children. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I am in the process of making peanut burn jellies. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go get them and we are going to go, we're gonna take them to the park. Just me, you guys and me. Bryant has got tons of work to do here on the farm. Um, and so, we are going to make these sandwiches. We're gonna go pick them up. We're gonna take them to a park. We're gonna um, take, make a picnic. And I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. I need some moral support. <laughs> I wanted to take them to like, um, like a children's museum, but um, I 
I chose to um, do this instead, especially since Bryant can't go with me. I wasn't brave enough to take them <laughs> to a children's museum by myself. I really am brave enough. I just didn't want to. I mean, that I would be so frustrated by the time I got home. Judah, Leva, Judah, Leva. <laughs> Here, we can have a picnic. I can take them to the playground, let them loose, and not fuss at them anymore. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a strawberry. I'm making a jelly. Speaking of jelly, this is the last of my jelly um, that I made. And I made it with store-bought juice because I didn't have access to any table grapes um, or a large amount of table grapes. <laughs> so, um, I think, and this is actually the probably the best grape jelly I've ever had. And so, I think I'm just going to continue to make it with store-bought juice. I just made it with Welch's grape juice, 100% juice. And it was out of this world, delicious. All right, so I'm gonna cut these in half. One's strawberry, one's grape. I'm not gonna tell them the difference. Sorry, my phone rang. And it was my sweet husband. All righty, so here we go. All right, I've got Peanut butter sandwiches, two full sandwiches made, and I've just put them in halves of them in individual bags. I don't know how much the boys will want. So I've got some nabs here. I'm going to run by the local grocery store that's close to their daycare um, and pick up some drinks and um, maybe some other foods and snacks. And then we're going to go get the boys. I'm super excited. Super excited. Okay. I'm going to finish packing everything up. I'll see you when we head out. I might, I might land on it. I might stay on it. Y'all need to move. How's that peanut butter and jelly? Good. Good. Y'all having fun? I'm, I would say four thumbs up. Four thumbs up. You only got two. No, one, two, three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all gonna have fun today? Yeah. yeah. Are you glad Bubbles came and picked you up? Yeah. Yep. I'm bubbles to me. All right, let's oh, eat and oh. then we'll go play. Today we found. Uh, a footprint. A footprint. It might be a dog or, or a bear or something. Those are some pretty big footprints. I don't know what it is, but it it's might pretty be a big. Bear. It might be a bear. Might be a bear. Yeah. It may be a fox. Might be a fox. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, are y'all ready to go play? Yeah. All right. And here we're headed off to play. Levi, look! <laughs> Ride a cowboy! Ride a cowboy! Alright everybody, Judah is working really hard. Call me worker! 
yeah, he is our worker. He's our employee here today. And he is learning how to put nails in wood. And he is doing an amazing job. Look at him. All right, wait. All right, stop. Stop. All right, now we're going to pull it back out. So, wait, let me show you how you pull it. You don't pull it out with your fingers. Take the hammer and see the forks. There you go. There you go. It may be too little for the that hammer. Now, let me, oh, uh oh, let me show you. All right, Bubbles got it out, and so he is now practicing again, hammering in another spot. We're just having a big time outside today playing. Bubbles is not worried one bit about her house or anything. She's just going to have fun with her grandbabies. Come here, Levi. Let's show them what you're doing. Levi has more important things to do, like eating a popsicle. I'm doing work, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing my important. You, you are doing important stuff. He's doing work. Hey guys, it's the next day, and if by chance you watched Tuesday's video, you know we had some farm equipment malfunction. And so, Bryant called after doing some work today, he called and said, do you want to ride with me to Greensboro? So we're going up to pick up the new tracks for our skid steer. So we're headed and we're taking you with us. All right, guys, if you uh, if you were with us the other day, uh, you saw the track come off the skid steer. You saw the metal part come out of the track. I called Kubota when we were filming the other day. I told you guys it was going to probably be about $4,000 for the tracks. I called Kubota. I was wrong. It was $4,200 <laughs> for the tracks from Kubota. Well, I got a buddy over in Yakin County that does some farming, and he and I were talking on the telephone. He said, hey, have you tried this company in Greensboro? called Wilson and Finley. I said, no, I hadn't tried them. I found another company online I was going to use, so I called over here to Wilson and Finley. They've got the tracks that I need to fit my skid steer, and it's going to be about $2,400. So by making a few phone calls, uh, Leslie and I saved about $1,800. So, And it was worth the 30-minute drive because I got to hang out with a gorgeous blonde. Aww. Let, let's go get these tracks. Hey, he's going to be loading the tracks onto mm -hmm. Bryant's truck all right here we are wilson and finley got some man he's got all kind of stuff look at these bulldozer parts right here see that big roller for a bulldozer got some more rollers over there for a bulldozer got all kind of scraping blades right there that goes on uh buckets and stuff right there they uh man they got about anything you need for undercarriage on a bulldozer look at them big ring gears right there I mean, I don't know what all y'all can see, but anyway, look at them ring gears. All kind of just bulldozer equipment parts, tracks, and stuff like that. So, here they come. Let's get them loaded up and head south. Go put them right there in the back of the truck. And that, my friend, it's a fast $2,400. But much better than going to Kubota. All right, so I'm ending today's video here. And um, tomorrow you're going to have another fun video. Like I said, there's not a lot of cooking going on this week. Just the blackberry dumplings. Um, and hopefully by the end of the week, I'm going to try those flautas that we talked about on another video. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to end it here. And um, But tomorrow it is another fun video. I'm going with somebody. I've introduced you to this person or to this person's um, page before. But uh, you'll get to meet her on my channel. So, alright. Saying goodbye. I mean it this time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.